What's up guys, it's Carl here and we are online and stack column charts. So let's go ahead and get started with this Power BI visual. We are going to look for the line and stack, there we go, line and stack column chart. So we're going to add this into our Power BI report view and we're going to go ahead and get started with this visual. So we have an X axis, we have a column Y axis, we have a line Y axis and we have a column legend and small multiples in the course. We're going to always have that two tip. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So with our Y axis here, I want to go ahead and add in the region. And then with our column axis, I'm gonna add in these uh, sum of cells. I'm gonna go ahead and just change this right away. And then for our line Y axis, let's add in what we would consider our profits, right? So we'll add in our profit there and then we'll get rid of this here. So now we have a line of stack column chart and let's go ahead and get into the formatting functionality, right? So first things first, we're gonna add a border and a shadow. Y'all know that is my favorite thing to do on, upon, upon finishing my visuals. <coughs> and now they let us get the ability to do that. First, we have a sales and profit by region. So as we can see, that is our title. If we want to move that to the center, we can go to this title drop down and move it to the center. We have an X axis uh, drop down here where we can change our font as well as our font color and our font size. So we can do that here. If we want to get rid of the title, we can do that. Now let's go into our Y axis. Again, we have a min and max range. So you see the, the range here is from zero to uh, a little above 15K. So we can do that by just adding in some values here, adding in a min range, and adding in a max range. And that will look like something like that. To get rid of that, you just simply get rid of the values and it will get rid of the range. Now we're moving to our secondary Y axis. Again, we have a min and max range. It does the same thing. We can get rid of the title if we want and we'll just move straight into our legend our legend is located on this far left if we wanted to slide this somewhere else we can slide it by just coming up here coming over here to, to position options is just changing the options and that will give us the ability to just position that legend somewhere else all right then we have our grid lines our grid lines is right here which is fine and we have a zoom slider which would give us the min and max range functionality without having to type in values we can turn that off we have our columns here where we can change the color of our columns and we can also change the transparency as well and we can if we come here we we'll go to the lines we can change the color of our line as well by just coming down here to color and selecting a different color for our lines as well as changing that transparency and we can also change the line the style to dash dotted or we can just keep it solid and we can change it to custom by just adding some custom rays and we can change our type to emitter rounded or bevel i like to change my lines to smooth so it looks something like this and let's just change it back to solid so that is how uh, that will look Again, we can shade our area whenever we have a line chart. We can shade the area down like that. We can also add markers. So these will just be our marker indicators. And we can give those, we can also add data labels. So this will give us some data labels. And we can change our data label values by just coming here and, change, and getting rid of the display unit. And we can also make sure that all the values are just two decimal places to the right and we can also change the color and make it bold to, to make it pop a little bit and that is how we will change the values on our bars in our line chart now we can keep coming down here we have series labels that we can turn on um i like to go ahead and move these to the left because it's it's a lot it works out a lot better on the left if we have series labels for our line charts and if we want to add a background we can do that as well we have created a Line is that column chart and Power BI. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Carl. I'll see you in the next one.